Welcome back. South Korea will remove most of its coronavirus restrictions later this month, including limits on indoor gatherings as case numbers continue to fall. People will still be required to wear face masks indoors, but authorities could remove an outdoor mask mandate if the spread of the virus further slows over the next two weeks. Starting next week, authorities will remove a 10-person limit on private social gatherings and lift a midnight curfew at restaurants, coffee shops and other indoor businesses. Officials will also remove a ban on large political rallies and other events involving 300 or more people. People will be allowed to eat inside movie theaters, religious facilities, bus terminals and train stations starting on April 25th. Pfizer has said it wants to expand its COVID-19 booster shots to healthy elementary age kids. U.S. health authorities already urge everyone 12 and older to get one booster dose for the best protection against the newest variants and recently gave the option of a second booster to those 50 and older. Pfizer said new data shows healthy 5 to 11 year olds could benefit from another kid sized shot. In a small study, 140 youngsters who had already gotten two shots were given a booster six months later and researchers found the extra shot generally revved up their immune response. In the coming days, the companies plan to ask the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to authorize a booster for healthy 5 to 11-year-olds. They also plan to share the data with European and other regulators. In other news, long lines of motorists queued up at patrol stations in Kenya as they waited to try and refuel their vehicles. In capital Nairobi, local residents usually are able to refuel in less than a minute. Now they should have spent hours waiting to fill up their vehicles and felt the long delays being experienced by many would have an impact on the economy. So in response to the situation, Kenya's Energy Secretary Monica Juma stressed that the country had adequate stocks of fuel. She blamed these issues on a deliberate effort to sabotage the economy, which she said amounted to a capital crime. And she also says Kenyans should not be subjected to a situation that we are facing today.